Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video on Moonflower and today we have an interesting build. I mean it's a very basic one, a lot of people do farms on their island but I decided to do a little miniature farm with a cafe and I think it turned out so cute. I want to add a few things after this I think because um, I don't have like all the items I want but I'm very happy with how it turned out so I started off by clearing up the area and obviously making a little flower area elsewhere full of the flowers that I got rid of and I'm just using the in-game like was it soil or dirt path just to create these areas for where I wanted the crops to be now I have this in a quite small area next to Chevre's house I think that's how you say her name I'm always really bad at pronunciations but yeah uh, her house is quite adorable and full of flowers and peaches and it's like kind of farmy so I thought I'd plant well make the farm area next to her house I mean Norma has a farm area next to hers but it's a different vibe you know it doesn't have the cafe hers is the campsite farm but this one's the cafe farm I don't know maybe we're going farm co maybe we're not we'll see but yeah I'm just planting all of these crops and just like hashing out the area where I want everything to go. I didn't have enough crops to like fill each little area but as they grow and things I'll be able to plant the crops that I want to plant because I want like a square of I think a square of wheat. I think there's carrots that you've just seen and potatoes and that's the three that I did because that's what I had room for. Uh, I did want to do fourth, but there's there wasn't enough room, and I think it kind of looked funky with like three anyway. Um, I wanted to build some fencing around just to add a little touch, you know, like a, a little accent, I guess. And I had these plant partitions, and I think they look really pretty. And so I added them around. I was trying to figure out like the placement of them and I think at the top here is where I decided to put them because it was like a wall fence sort of thing that separated the crops from the cafe which I'll be building after you'll see. I really like the colour of these and how they just fit perfectly. I didn't plan it to fit perfectly but like it really did and it's just so satisfying you know when things just line up perfect and you don't need to add anything extra, it's just the best feeling. Um, Chevra's already enjoying it, you know, having a little mooch around. And I'm just adding more accents in. I got these peach cardboard boxes and I thought they'd be really cute to add in. I think I'll need to add a peach tree in later um, to kind of tie it together. But I don't think I added one in this build yet. But I'll, I'll do a little like video on adding little like extras in all my little builds because they're all missing something you know nothing's ever fully finished not on my island at least <laughs> i'm just adding a few things around like that you, like it would be for the cafe but it's actually still in the farm area because the cafe is going to be on the other side but i thought it would be cool to have like some shopping bags maybe like some lunch boxes or you know those bread baskets things like that I thought I wanted to do just something with food something farmy I guess and I wanted lots of greenery and just pulling everything together making it all look like it's all meant to be there I guess but yeah it's just it took me ages to figure out the placement of everything and I mean, I always struggle with that every time, but you know, what to do ya? What you gonna do about it? Um, I think it did turn out cute in the end though, so you'll just have to wait and see. And I, with the cafe, I had these like retro ice cream things. I can't remember what they're called, but it's like an ice cream counter and they're so cute with the flowers on and I think it's going to be perfect for the cafe. 
obviously a brown wheelie bin the wheelie bins for the waste of plants and stuff natural waste at least where i used to live not where i live now they're black bins but we'll we'll move we'll go with it i added in these custom design planks and i think they're so cute i think i might change them though because these ones don't have like corner planks or like you know like a middle one that would like branch off both ways like it just has these two different ones so i think i want to get one that has like little turns and things but that'll do for now you know i added in this custom pathing uh which matches chevra's area she has this around her house a uh, front yard and things and so i wanted to kind of continue that on because it goes up to that bridge i'm pretty sure and it looks really cute i messed around with the placement a lot i'm so bad at putting down custom pathing it's really frustrating i always rub out the floor in areas that i don't mean to and put down areas that i don't mean to and it just always ends up a mess but in the end i get it all fine and it looks really cute but i did need to mess with the shape a lot and i added in these ranch chairs and the cute tables are these cinnamon roll tables or some cinnamon tables maybe i'd have to double check i think they're like the exclusive ones for the amiibo but um I got them from a treasure island because I'm a dirty little cheat <laughs> but they are really cute and I think they fit with the whole vibe of the ice cream machines I still wanted to include this white table for some reason I don't know why I think it was more like I wanted another table there to display or show off my bread as I just did there but the table this white cafe table just wasn't it so i didn't use it here in the end i don't think i think i might have used it like behind a partition or something to hide it but i added in a few lanterns and obviously it had to be the blossom ones the pink ones because it goes with the whole pink thing over here you know the peachy vibe and you know i always miss my balloons always miss them but I did get that one, finally. It took a few tries. And I wanted this bike included, as you just saw, but it just, it frustrates me that you can't put things like closer to the edge of like the cliffs and things. That is so annoying. Like, why is it like that? And I wish you could have the custom designs on like diagonal edges as well. Like, please, Nintendo, allow us to do that. Here's a cute little ducky that I added in. I just thought it was very cute. He's just minding his own business, you know. He's actually the one that runs the farm. He's, you know, rolling in the dough, you know. He's just so clever and smart. I don't know what to call him. What should we call him? Rodney. Rodney the duck. Adorable. He's the farm owner. As of now. Chevra's just, you know, the guest. She lives next to it. <laughs> um... I wanted to mess around with some wheat fields and things because around Chevra's house I have a lot of wheat fields but I just couldn't make them fit with this diagonal line and I could have just straightened everything out but I did want it to be like a weird shape um, but it wasn't quite working so I did rejig things again and there's that table, the infamous table that I just couldn't get working. I think I left it here in the end with the bread. That bread looks really good and i think this was it finished and i don't know i think it's really cute with the orange flowers and everything and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video enjoy the little tour and like and subscribe if you did enjoy thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye